signing in his season and a half as Everton's manager. But more public reaction has come from the deal Everton have been unable to complete. No Terry Curran, who's returned to Sheffield United after performing impressively in Everton's last seven league games. So it's the same lineup that beat Newport County here in the FA Cup replay on Tuesday. After long consideration, Graham Taylor decided to change the Watford side that won the last two matches. 18-year-old striker Jimmy Gilligan, who scored twice against Manchester City, he steps down. Ross Jenkins, fit again after hamstring trouble, returns at number nine. Jenkins' last First Division appearance on this ground was over ten years ago, when he scored here for Crystal Palace. Mark Higgins has recovered from slight concussion and today becomes the fifth player this season to lead Everton. Billy Wright remains the club captain, but he's still out of favour. It's Watford then to kick off in the light shirts of yellow. This their first ever appearance at Goodison Park. Keith Hackett from Sheffield, the referee. This the reverse fixture from the opening day of the season when Everton were beaten 2-0 down at Vicarage Road. Barnes. Half stop by Stevens. It broke for Rostron. And in the end, the ball reached Jim Arnold. It was cleverly played forward by Will Rostron. Certainly very much in Everton's mind to put behind them a poor performance at Watford at the start of the season. Now was he held there by Bolton? The referee has awarded an indirect free kick and wants to talk to Ian Bolton, who pulled Adrian Heath back there. Bolton is booked. And the crowd debate whether it was a goal-scoring position. Clearly the supporters feel but Bolton should have been sent off under the new interpretations this season. Everton have the free kick. Certainly Keith Hackett raised his arm as if to suggest it was indirect, but Sheedy tries it direct and hits the wall. Nigel Callaghan holding up John Bailey. Heath, Bolton the defender again, Sharp blocked the attempted clearance. John Barnes in the centre of Watford's defending then, but the crowd still buzzing at that previous incident when Adrian Heath had got behind Ian Bolton and was clearly pulled back. Sharp, Jacket. time. Sharp trying to screen it away from Bolton and accomplishes it. Reed's cross, laid off by Heath for the left foot of Kevin Sheedy. He hits it in the end with the right. Kevin Sheedy kept Everton in the FA Cup last Saturday with a late equaliser at Newport from some distance. The greater threat usually lies on his left foot, but here he was prepared to switch it onto the right to slip past Les Taylor. Jenkins. It's McMahon who played it forward for Everton. Drops here for Andy King. Here's Reed. He's darting through the middle. King had checked out to the right here. And is faced by Pat Rice. King goes on. And he's a midfield player with a natural goal scorer's instinct. And he's Everton's top scorer this season, Andy King. In the end, King got past Rice in the one-against-one one confrontation and let fly with the left foot. Rice. Lissett trying to hold it up. Rostron. And Barnes move forward in some anticipation. 
the ball in the end too close from the Watford point of view to the goalkeeper. Well, Sims did Sharp's job really helping it on and here's Heath has wriggled free and missed. For Watford nearly caught by their own prevailing tactic. It's a long ball from the goalkeeper that came off Sims initially. King got a touch, Heath got clear behind Sims and then placed his shot wide. But a genuine chance for Everton to take the lead. Now Jacket. Watford operating really with just two midfield men. A lot of the onus of their play falls on those two. And it's Rostrum who fell there, tripped by Stevens. come across to take the free kick and Jenkins this is Barnes and in the end Arnold was fortunate that it came straight to him from John Barnes through a ruck of players Watford trying to exploit the set piece curled in by Callahan. Barnes almost had an intervention as it came his way and then the ball rebounded for him to have the shot King jockeying for a position to receive the throw. It's a cross that favours the goalkeeper, but he hesitated, and Sharp so nearly punished him for it. Sharp was more determined that that cross was going to come his way. It really caught on the breeze as Stevens played it in. Sherwood came and stopped, and then had to react to push Sharp's header behind. Graham Sharp, who lost his place in the side in the middle of December, but has come back in and has scored five in his last five games. Ruston for Watford. Now Jacket and now Barnes. He's played into space, but no colleague of John Barnes could fill. But we've had no goals here in an undistinguished 45 minutes. Adrian Heath, the centre of two incidents, pulled back by Ian Bolton when clear early on, and then missing Everton's best chance of the half. At half-time, it's Everton nil, Watford nil. Everton to start the second half. They're regretting dropped home points in poor drawn games here already this season, so they'll be anxious to turn one point into three this afternoon. Stevens gives it away to Barnes. It must be said that the Everton blend in their 4 4 2 formation hasn't looked quite right in the first half. Barnes. Stevens seemed to take a ride on the back of Sharp. That's the way the referee saw it. Sharp coming in. There's Ratcliffe's pass in the direction of Bailey. In for Sharp. Trying to turn Sims and set something up here for Everton. And McMahon. Well, it was well off target. through for Stevens 
Put on by Jenkins. This is Barnes, and it's Les Taylor bursting through. And now Blissett. And Blissett again. Everton had bodies in the way. As Bailey finally hoofed it to safety. Taylor initially causing the problem. Blissett's first touch looked to have lost the opening, but he got the shot in. But Everton scrambled it to safety. Callahan's corner, knocked out by Adrian Heath. Matt Rice, who played here so often for Arsenal in his 16 years with that club, but was only on the winning side once in a league game. Callahan, the player who went down. Sims to prepare for the long throw. McMahon to get his head to it for Everton. Rice, then Reed. Sharp trying to get some width. And that quality has been lacking in Everton's play. in front of a crowd of just under 20,000. Neat control from Callahan, And a pass that might have freed Luther Blissett here. He's got past Higgins, he's faced by Arnold, but can't beat him. And the first time that Luther Blissett has really found space to exploit from Callahan's pass, and he had the legs of Mark Higgins, but Arnold's positioning was good. Something of a let-off then for Everton. Sharp wants a penalty. It was an optimistic cry. The referee points for a throw to Watford. Graham Sharp jumping with Steve Sims, and the two clashed in the air, but they were both going for the ball. Blissett was trying to slip Higgins again, but he wasn't to be caught twice. The game moving into its final quarter of an hour, and that heralds the appearance of David Johnson. And it's Peter Reid who goes off. Johnson fit again after a neck injury, and Watford at the same time call off Ross Jenkins and introduce the Dutchman Jan Lohman. Sharp. Johnson and Sheedy. It's David Johnson who got the touch with his first kick. Well, you'll really see a substitution work to such good effect. It changed the pattern of things up front for Everton. Johnson was loitering with some intent here as the ball bobbed around. Sharp involved, it came through, and Johnson and Sheedy both went for it. It was Johnson who stabbed it wide of Sherwood. David Johnson makes an immediate impact in a game that was drifting towards stalemate. King. Watford's free kick. So the anxieties aren't over yet for Everton. Everyone but Steve Sherwood now in the Everton half. Rice to take the free kick. Sims to jump. And Higgins to volley clear. 
Johnson held it up well. Here's Sheedy. Everton had a man over for a moment. This is Heath. Gets past Rice. Adrian Heath can finish it in style here. He's got a corner. And it may be that this is the last act of the match. Indeed, the final whistle has gone after Adrian Heath could have made it two for Everton. But one was enough, and it came in the most dramatic fashion when David Johnson came on as substitute a quarter of an hour from the end. Watford not at their best, and the final score here at Goodison Park, it's Everton 1, Watford 0.